Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. I'm doing a pickup video for the month of February. Picked up some more vintage stuff for my binders and uh, went back to picking up some more 1936 Gaudi wide pens. So, uh, been a while since I've done those. And also just picked up a vintage lot of football off of eBay and we're kind of some of it I've seen for the first time too with you. So, I thought we'd just kind of look at it and see what's going on. So since last episode we did football first, we'll do the four baseball today. So these are all 1936 Gaudi white pens. Some of them, um, they weren't listed as uh, reprints, but some of them kind of look like they might be reprints from the, the, because they made a set in like 1972 or something like that. So first picked up Pepper Martin, who was a pretty decent player in his time. And there's the back, that one, looks original but not sure on that one um, Luke Sewell that one looks old there's the back side so you just kind of like cool cards that I like to pick up well they're kind of more like kind of like mini posters this one I think's been trimmed a little bit up on the top Charlie Gilbert a lot of these people like stick them in albums or walls or whatever this one it kind of looks like this might be a reprint it wasn't listed as a reprint so I'm not sure it wasn't very expensive but it just looks too clean to be 1936 but I could be wrong Russ Van Atta so I know Dustin Bellinger has a lot of these so if you happen to know Dustin that one just looks way too clean on the back thinking that's probably actually a reprint and they have it mislabeled but I mean I didn't pay a whole lot for it so I figured I'd pick up four or five at a time every month kind of uh, complete some of the run I guess on it probably won't ever complete the set but it'd be cool to add some of them and then picked up this stack of finished football it's like 1956 to 72 so I guess we'll work our way newest to oldest, I guess, and this is how I got it. Got a Hall of Famer Nick Boyancotti. None of these cards are really in the greatest of shape, but uh, for the price and the amount of cards compared to everybody else that's asked on eBay, I thought it would be worth it just to see what's going on here. So I just kind of like bought them and didn't like really pay attention to what was all in them. Just figured it'd kind of be a surprise. So that's the only 1972 tops. And we got a bunch of 70s. We got Buck Buchanan. Here's Al Dodd, Ralph Heck. I'll just show you just kind of the better names. Don't want to bore you. Perry Jacobs. Dave Costa from the Broncos. Bill Brown. He was a pretty decent player. Mike Tileman. Mike Hafner from the Broncos. Johnny Rowland. Larry Brown. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer, but I think he was a pretty decent one. Jim Lynch from the Chiefs. Andy Rice. Paul Costa. Another Johnny Rowland. Glenn Ray Hines. Larry Stallings is pretty decent for the Cardinals. Dave Parks from the Saints. John Elliott. Spider Lockhart wasn't too bad. Jim Turner was a good kicker. Tom Beer. There's a Hall of Famer, Bobby Bell. I think he wants like thirty or forty dollars now for signatures or something like that. Hall of Famer, Mick Tinglehoff. Bob Barry, old quarterback. Les Josephson from the Rams. Grady Alderman, Ken Bowman, Billy Truax. He was a decent player too. Ed Buddy played a long time. Glenn Ray Hines again, and Andy Livingstone from the Saints. And we got a couple 1969s, two Hall of Famers here. Leroy Kelly, not in great shape with the cardboard coming off there, and Daryl LaMonica. I, well, he may not be a Hall of Famer. I forget on <laughs> Daryl LaMonica, but he's a decent quarterback. And 68. Another Daryl LaMonica. There's 
quite a few 68 cards in there. This one's stuck here. Got checklists. Kent McLeod, McLaughlin. Jim Grabowski. Packers. Hewitt Dixon. Got Matt Snell. Another great Jet George Sawyer. Boyd Dowler. Another checklist. Bobby Joe Green. Milt Plum. He's a decent player. Curtis McClinton. Dick Van Proust. <laughs> There's like two of those. This one's better shape. However you pronounce that name. I have no idea. Frank Ryan, Dick Bass, Ron Vanderkellen, E.J. Holub, Bobby Joe Conrad, Don Troll, here's Art Powell, old Art Powell, he was, I think he's in the AFL Hall of Fame or something like that, he was a really good player. I don't know why he's not in the Hall of Fame Hall of Fame, it's really stupid. He's one of the best uh, players from his time. Uh, Jim Gibbons was pretty good. Jerry Simmons. Here's Hall of Famer Charlie Taylor. Dave Lloyd. Junior Coffee. Another Milk Plum. Andy Livingston with the Bears that time. It's Hall of Famer Jackie Smith. Tommy Watkins. Walt Suggs. Jim Norton. Tony Lork. Hall of Famer Paul Krause. I did not realize he played for the Redskins. Fred Cox. Invented the Foam Nerf Football, Bobby Walden, Jerry Stovall, Dave Williams, another Frank Ryan, a bunch of writing on it, Kay McFarland, Henry Carr, he's passed away, Jerry Simmons, another Henry Carr, and Johnny Morris, who's like the leader for the Bears of Lehman Reception Yards, if I remember right. Then, uh, I believe these are 1965 Philadelphia, but I'm not sure. Got Jack Party and Hall of Famer Mick Tinglehoff. Those could also be 64, or they could be 66. I don't don't really know. Got a couple 64 tops, just a checklist, and George Blair. And we have some 61 tops. Got Hall of Famer Hugh Mickelheiney. With the Vikings in that one. Rather than the 49ers. And then Leo Sugar. I think he's still alive. Could be wrong on that. And these are, I think, 58 tops. Or 59. Don Heinrich. And Walt Yawarski. <laughs> I don't know. This one's like 57, really bad shape. It's got a big old crease in the card that more into a tear now. Clarence Mc or Lamar McCann. No, I was reading his proper name in the back. And finally, I think these are 1956. Got Fred Morrison and Fred Cohn, who I think is still alive. Was also a World War II veteran. So that is it. So decent amount of pickups there. Nothing, you know, too special, but nice for the collection for now. It's still growing. And I'm uh, having fun with it. So it's, that's the whole point of it is picking up stuff that, that you like. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope to be back next month with some more for you. Make sure you also check out the contest video for the Junk Wax TTM Challenge. It's a few videos back, but I still have a few spots left for you. If you want to join in, make sure you go watch that video for all the rules and see what you need to do. So I really appreciate it if you want to join in. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you hopefully tomorrow. See you later. Bye.